Hi, it's Elliot here from the Autodesk Education team. We wanted to let you know about some enhancements we're making to help you and your students work more confidently with parts and assemblies inside of Fusion. In early 2026, you'll see that when you go to create a new design, you'll be asked, what do you want to design? Is it a part, assembly, hybrid design, or something else? In short, when creating a new design, you should choose part design when modeling a single component. You should choose assembly design to bring those parts together in a dedicated environment, or choose hybrid design to work with a mix of internal and external modeling tools. Let's start by looking at the hybrid design experience. Hybrid reflects the way you work in Fusion today. The toolbar contains all of the core modeling tools you need to start creating geometry, as well as assembly tools to insert and create new components and constrain them together. When creating new components in a hybrid design, you have the option to make them as internal or external. Internal components are contained within the design itself. Working with internal components is particularly powerful for fast paced ideation work or shorter term individual projects your students are working on. You can also create or insert externally referenced components in a hybrid design. External components are particularly useful if students need to reuse a design frequently in different assemblies, collaborate with others in the same assembly, or if they're working with a large number of components. Notice that the inserted heatsink is its own external design, but when we save the hybrid design containing the internal components we created, they live inside of that hybrid design and not outside of it. Now let's take a look how we might approach that same scenario using the part and assembly design experiences. You want to design a heat block, so you choose part, set the type to standard and create new. The first thing you may notice is there are no longer assembly tools in the toolbar. That's because Fusion has streamlined the user interface to give you the tools you need to create a single component. This means you can immediately get started in modeling the heat block. Once you're finished, you may want to include the heat block design in a wider assembly. To do this, you can select Add to Assembly from the toolbar, which will give you the option to insert into a new or existing assembly. You can also create a new assembly design by going to New, choosing Assembly Design, and Create New. Again, you might notice that Fusion has streamlined the user interface when using the assembly design experience, but this time it's only giving you the assembly tools to bring parts together. The first way you can start building your assembly is by inserting existing designs. So if you've already created the part or assembly you need, you can bring it in as an externally referenced design. This approach allows you to build assemblies in a bottom-up style by creating individual part designs and inserting them into an assembly design. This enables you to simplify the modeling and assembly processes when teaching new students by separating out each of these workflows and only focusing on one task at a time. You can also opt for a top-down workflow where you create new external components in the context of the assembly. Note that when working in an assembly design, you're only given the option to create external components or assemblies. Now, when you save your assembly design, any external components you created inside of it will be saved as their own designs. If you wanted to make changes to these components, you can do that in the context of the assembly by using Edit in Place. Then when you save the assembly, these changes will be propagated to the individual external designs. By using assembly designs with an external component workflow, student teams can collaborate more effectively on the same design. In this scenario, you've been working on the top level assembly, whilst one of your teammates has been using edit in place to make some changes to a few of the components. They've finished making changes and you're prompted to update the components they've made changes to. 
all while being able to continue working on the assembly itself without interruption. Working with part and assembly designs also provides enhanced assembly performance and better collaboration for students working in teams on more complex projects or competitions. Hybrid design remains an incredibly powerful tool for fast ideation and individual work on smaller projects. You can familiarize yourself with the new intent-driven design experience today before full release by enabling it in the preview tab under Preferences in Fusion.